Joining me from the confines of her own establishment, Sam Cortez with Sport Manitoba. Sam, thank you for taking the time with me to discuss what's been happening, not only in your world, but in Sport Manitoba's world this past month. Give us a little bit of an update on what's been happening since all the crazy chaos in the news uh, kind of happened about a month. Right, yeah, so it's been exactly probably about a month now. Um, and of course, the Sport Manitoba facility is closed right now, um, keeping everyone in our community safe. Um, and so, well, the only part of the of the facility that is currently uh, still operating right now is the clinic or the physician services in the clinic, um, but everything else is is closed. So everyone's just been trying to adapt and um, hopefully we'll be all ready to go when, when, when it's safe to do so. Absolutely, I mean, clearly a lot of the associations can still function from a home because it's you know the electronic world out there we can get emails we can get websites and stuff like that so i've been speaking with a lot of the different executives and they've been updating their social media pages and their uh, resources that have been made available online sport manitoba has got three initiatives happening here that we want to touch on let's start with uh the sport manitoba fitness program that you want to discuss yeah so exactly like you said so there's lots of different things that we can still do to connect with our audiences and um, to still try and adapt it to virtual as much as possible. Um, and one of those examples is in the Sport Manitoba Fitness, um, they're doing Instagram live classes. So uh, if you follow at Sport Manitoba on Instagram, um, you can do those live classes. You can participate in the live classes for Monday to Friday. Um, for example, Monday coming up next week, there's hit classes, Tuesday there's core, Wednesday mobility, Thursday circuit. And then a strength on the Friday. So they're doing that. Um, and they're just sharing a lot of content on social media and the website. Um, great nutrition tips. There's um, recipe videos, at-home workouts, things like that. Um, and then the Instagram classes are also posted on our YouTube channel, on Sport, Man uh, Sport Manitoba's YouTube channel. So if you can't catch them live, you can also check them out there. Um, and they're also working on new blog content coming out. Um, and something that's new is virtual personal training, um, which is is really great to still kind of offer people that personalized one-on-one -on -one training um, so that they can do that at home. And if you have any questions about that, fitness at sportmanitoba.ca as usual. Awesome. That gives them that, that opportunity to take a breath of fresh air away from staring at screens or worrying about A, B, or C. Go out and get, get some activity because uh, Lord knows we need, you know, between... 45 to 65 minutes a day correct yeah no there's definitely it's it's a lot of different pieces of advice on on how to stay motivated and how to stay moving and getting active too and there's also a blog post that we actually have from the sport manitoba fitness center on exactly that staying motivated while social and physical distancing awesome so next on our list is the sport manitoba performance side of things you want to touch on that for me sam yeah so similar to the fitness center there's Things that the performance team have been working on, they've reached out to all their teams and individual athletes to offer um, programs at home, still continue their training at home. Um, and they've been working on a lot of different uh, video content, interactive video content that um, to provide their athletes, to provide the general public as well, so that people can still um, get guidance and tips um, while social and physical distancing and still get those workouts and training in at home. Um, also based on the equipment that they do have at home. Um, and with the videos, it's great. You can pause them, they can rewatch them, they can, you know, master that technique by and always having something to reference. Um, and they also have a lot of great blog content that's coming out. Um, just looking here, for example, five tips for athletes to get the best out of their home workout. Um, there's a lot of great stuff that they're putting out there for, for people to get involved in. And there's also weekly challenges that you can participate in. Um, and then there's a monthly performance workout, and that's April is out now, so you can check that out. You can follow along, um, and they're always available. If anyone has questions, um, ideas, anything like that. So performance at sportmanitoba.ca too, if you want to reach out. Perfect. And that's good to have that that forum there to ask those questions. I'm assuming that uh, obviously the professionals that are doing these videos are there to answer the questions and the inquiries that come in. Correct? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's our people from the sport manageable performance, the sport performance specialists. So 
they're there to, to answer your questions for sure. Awesome. Just because we're talking about performance in sport does not mean that's the be all and end all of sport, of course. And kids at home, uh, not used to this schedule. I mean, they're used to having their, you know, their time at school and their time with their friends. And it's a little bit different for families right now. And it's most important to get those kids their opportunity as well to get a little bit of exercise. And we have a Fit Kids, Healthy Kids program set up with uh, Sport Manitoba. Yeah, so it's a partnership between Doctors Manitoba and Sport Manitoba. Um, and again, to keep our community safe during this time, we've the Fit Kids Healthy Kids program has um, suspended all their programming at the moment until further notice and all their motion zones that they do, obviously, um, throughout the community. They're not doing those right now, but there's a lot of great resources online at fitkidshealthykids.ca. Um, they have a whole game database there that you can look through, I think it's at the top of the website, just really easy to use on the website. Um, and it brings up a, a whole bunch of games you can even choose based on, you know, different um, things that you're looking for specifically to get your kids active. Um, we've been recommending different games for kids and of course always recommending um, that all the games are played within, you know, keeping social and physical distancing in mind. So playing with members of your household, less and measures that the province of Manitoba is recommending. Um, but yeah, there's game descriptions, there's rules and, and uh, even video demos along with each of those games. So it's, it's really great and you can do it in, um, well, if the weather wasn't, if, I don't know if it's still snowing out there, but in your backyard, in your house, um, you can adapt all that. So they also have a, a blog post up on the Sport Manitoba website as well that has even more tips. It's, it's titled Activity Tips from Fit Kids, Healthy Kids. Um, and they have some suggestions, further suggestions there on, on things that families can, can do, resources for people to kind of get active. And um, so that's a really great, great thing to check out as well. And it's always great, especially if mom and dad are staying home right now, working from home. Find those activities you can do with the kid. I mean, have a push-up challenge or a sit-up challenge or a plank challenge or, you know, yeah. play, a, play a little bit of dodgeball without balls and Nerf guns instead or you know, throwing a Frisbee around. I mean, my son and I found the old Aerobi from back in the day. Oh. We're launching it 150 feet on the side of the house with minus trees, thank thank, uh, thank <laughs> heavens, because those Aerobis love getting stuck in trees, of course. Yeah, but, exactly. It's just being creative, right, and and trying to figure out those ways to, to stay active and being safe while doing it. And, yeah, it's, it's a time for everyone to adapt, but there's a lot of great resources to use. I send out a challenge to everybody at the Sport for Life building. You should start up a, a weekly challenge amongst the execs to see, find an activity and then challenge each one of them to get on it. Because I think that would be kind of funny to post and see who's the fittest of the fit. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. That's a good idea. Well, I look forward, Sam, to doing this with you live in person sooner than later, I hope. Uh, if not, we can do this again, again next month and catch up and see how these resources are being used. Again, uh, the website is sportmanitoba.ca, correct? Yes. Yeah, you got it. And then fitkidshealthykids.ca is another good one? Yes. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, Sam, what have you been doing to kind of keep yourself uh, mm -hmm. on the up and up? I know it's, it, feels, it seems a little difficult and you have those days that are up and down, but uh, what, have you, what has been your go-to activity that you've liked to enjoy on a daily basis? Um, well, throughout the day, I just try and do take little breaks here and there and just kind of stretch. Even just doing that bit of like just moving, moving around is, is super helpful. Um, and then just walks, like walks wherever I can get them in. Um, and just kind of, well, once the snow is gone, which is almost there, it's kind of back and forth. But then just kind of running for me, jogging is really, is really helpful. Yeah. Are you enjoy, are you a big jogger when it comes to going outside? Um, I I used to be, and then I kind of had some knee issues, but um, so it kind of depends. But I do enjoy jogging for sure. That is on my to do list this year to be a little bit more of a runner. Uh, yeah. Personally, I've never been a runner. I've been a, I've been known as the uh, fifty one or the one hundred one because at fifty one <laughs> meters is usually a prize for me. 
or 101 meters is a prize for me and that's all I have to do. That's as far as I would run as opposed oh. to biking or as opposed to hitting somebody really hard. I was really good at doing that. So I was built, <laughs> nice. for, I was built for comfort and built for hitting, not built for speed or built for long endurance. Uh, Mr. Uh, Freddie Stevenson from St. John's Ravens Court would explain that much better than I will. Sam, gotcha. I will thank you very much for joining me. I really appreciate the time. I hope you have a wonderful Easter weekend. Uh, I hope you have a chance to catch up with your family however you can. And uh, stay safe out there and be well and look forward to catching up. Thank you. Wishing you all the same. Thanks, Theo. Bye-bye for now.